Shalom congregation and today we're going to be spending some time with God looking at Genesis chapter 12 verses 6 to 20 so it's worth a read in your own time. You're going to go on a journey, an adventure with someone from our history called Abraham and his wife Sarai. You're going to go through good times with them where they have like God is good moments and you're going to go through some dodgy situations where they make some dodgy and scary choices but God sees them through it and there's so much to learn so it's definitely worth reading in your own time but for now we're just going to look at verse well no chapter 12 verse 8 of the devotion and Abraham has just been told by God that he has to leave everything he knows leave his country his comfort zone for a future that he can't quite imagine but it is a promise from God to him so we're going to see what he does next and the bible says in Genesis chapter 12 verse 8 that from there he, Abram, went on towards the hills east of Bethel and pitched his tent with Bethel on the west and I on the east. There he built an altar to the Lord and there he called on the name of the Lord. If you needed to celebrate something really good, uh, think of the name of the person that you would call. Who would you text? Like, who would you message? And now think why i'm guessing it's because there's something about that person that in that moment you want to share what has happened with them and there's something about that person's character that has impacted your life and it's worth messaging them it's worth calling them so they're not just the name that they were given at birth they are a character that has impacted your life. And here we see with Abraham, the same thing is happening. The Bible says he calls on the name of the Lord. In some translations, it will say he worships the name of the Lord. Others will say he worships and he prays to the name of the Lord. And it's not just some random name. It's a name that is attached to the character of God. And God is about to show Abraham and his family more of his character. And what he shows them will shape them, will mold them, will impact them. Um, and later on, you see, he learns to call God by all his names. He learns to call God by God the Most High, God the Sovereign Lord, God the Provider. And it's important to remember that the character of Jesus is the same. It's the reason why we worship his name it's attached to his character traits the reason we call on his name is because it's attached to his character traits his name is worth praying to it's worth having in our lives and i truly believe this year if we give god permission and if we allow the holy spirit he's wanting us to experience the character traits of jesus for some of us it's going to be character traits we've never experienced before for others of us it will be Jesus just wanting to remind us of certain things that we've forgotten as we read the Bible and as we live our lives. But either way, he wants us to actually experience them. So, for example, you're going to be experiencing things like how honest Jesus is. We see it in the Bible, but how honest is he in real life? But we've seen and experienced that in our lives and how brave, how compassionate he is. You see it in the New Testament, but are we experiencing it today in our lives and in these times? Uh, do you know what it's like to have Jesus as a leader? So as you read about his leadership as his disciples, someone who follows him. And for some of us, we're just beginning that journey and we're really going to know what it is in 2021 to have Jesus as our leader. Uh, how courageous he can be and how unbelievably unselfish, as well as how passionately loyal he is to you and I. And there are so many more character traits of Jesus that are attached to his name that he wants us to experience. Every day, God is showing you and I more and more of his character and more of his name for the same reason he did with Abraham in Genesis chapter 12 so that when we call on that name and when we worship that name and when we share that name with others it's with confidence we know the character trait we know the character behind that name and it's my prayer that in 2021 in the season ahead you and I are going to experience more and more of the character traits of Jesus so it's, it's with confidence we call on the name of Jesus and we know that we need look no further than the name of Jesus.